Hiya YouTubers, um, just a bit of a update on what I've been up to, um, finished this um, bolt action chesty puller miniature off this morning, um, getting free with the American book from bolt action supplement, um, I needed a commander because I've got a game Tuesday night, I've got two squads of Americans and I need a camera so a commander. Um, I put a Thompson on his back because I think he looked a bit, a bit weaponless to have just a pistol. But uh, yeah, turned out sound. Um, more bolt action miniatures on there, um, Death Guard mini, some more grunt stuff. Slowly, 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 slowly getting there. But we'll get there in the end. Um, and also, like Fezaboo. And I went into Napoleonics, but I'm going to be using 10mm miniatures. Um, I'm going to be using Magister Militum 10mm miniatures. I also picked up their rule book, Colours and Guns. <laughs> Not happy with them at all. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be using these rules. Um, start um, a turns in phases, from phase 1. Right the way through to phase nine. Um, I read the rule book through. And I was kind of it was iggledy piggledy to me. Whether it's because I'm thick, I don't know, but you know. I mean, not everybody can grasp a set of rules straight away, but this one, I, th I thought to myself, I'm going to need to read this a few times to get it to sink in. So I wasn't really happy about it, but then I got black powder yesterday morning. Is it early Father's Day present from the kids? Thank you, kids. And yeah, what a beautiful book it is. I mean, I know all your lot should know about uh, black powder it's by uh, Rick Creasy and James Johnson. It's a beautiful book. Really laid out well, and I mean, the artwork and the illustrations in this book are um, fantastic, and the rules are written in a way that you can't understand and grasp them first time. All right, there's some bits in there that I've, well, I've had to read a few times, and obviously I haven't quite sunk in. But I find a lot of game designers they write a rule how they understand it and expect everybody else to understand it. It's not always the case. But this has got lots of diagrams in, lots of little pics on explaining how the rules work. I mean, the, if you want to fight the Crimean War, Zulu Wars, War of Independence, American Civil War, Napoleonics, and Sudan, it's all in here. And oh, inspiration. Talk about inspiration. Pictures. Oh, if only I could sit down and paint a 28 millimeter Napoleon army. I mean, I'd get cramped. And my head would fall off. So I'm not even going to go there. I mean, pairs, pairs of poop. All the best to you, mate. But uh, just imagine when, when your army's done. They're fantastic. But it's just like the table size you need as well. So that's why 10 millimetre, a 6 foot table will be 4 foot. It's going to be adequate. Um, at the back of the book, it's not really pointless, but at the back of the book, there's a little bit on you know creating points so you can actually do a pointless game. But basically, it's tongue in cheek rules. You turn up two armies in your play, and what I like about it, at the back of the book, it's got like these little battle report things. The Battle of Freeman's Farm, all about the battle and explaining everything about it. Then it goes over to the diagrams of the battlefield British Army, the American Army, the Army lists. More descriptions about the battle, some lovely pictures, fab minis. And the army lists, the stats, special rules, 
for that battle. And then a mini battle report. Which is awesome. Love it. And there's a, quite a few of these at the back of the book, covering different periods. But yeah, I'm really liking this. Don't throw your bloody spears at me. But, cracking stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be doing black powder. Um, also, I'm going to be running a bit of a competition giveaway uh, over the next week. Just a thank you to everyone that's subbed to my channel. I didn't realise I've got 60 summit plus subscribers. I was going to do it at 50, but I've, I've flown by 50. And I really thanks for everybody that subs to my channel, comments. Um, the community on YouTube is fantastic. I get a lot of inspiration from a lot of you guys and the work you do. I keep, you know, I mean, ideas and painting tips and modelling and the videos that go up fantastic. So. Um, Keep your eyes on YouTube for my um, subscriber giveaway. And uh, have a good day. Catch you all later. Enjoy the weather. Bye for now.